everyone to a special holiday edition of the Flowers and Friends talk show. I'm Kara Jameson. I'm one of the co-hosts of the Flowers and Friends talk show for Bloom TV Network. We have a fun show for you today. We certainly Dion? do. It's all about lilies. My name is Dion Woods and I am also a co-host for the Flowers and Friends talk show. And I'm Ana Galena. Um, I'm also a co-host for the Flowers and Friends talk show and I'm very excited for this episode. Yeah, and I'm Monica Michelle. I'm the founder of Bloom TV, and today I'm going to act as the liaison between you all and your questions, feeding those to Jamie as they come through. Um, and with that, we will turn things over to Jamie Jamison to get us started. What are you going to show us today? Hi, everyone. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me on Flowers and Friends. This is such an honor to be here. Um, I am a flower photographer and an instructor, social media instructor. And I absolutely love working with flowers and taking photos of flowers. And today we're gonna to focus on lilies. Um, lilies are something that you tend to think about more in the springtime, but they're a fabulous year round mm -hmm. flower. And I'm gonna to put together an arrangement for my table here and also talk to you a little bit about what I do for my photography. So you can um, get an idea when I'm putting together an arrangement, um, how, I, how I do that. How's that sound? Amazing. Fabulous. Yay. Perfect. I cannot wait. <laughs> I don't okay. think those orange lilies too are stunning. Aren't they stunning? I mean, they are just starting to open and we will talk about that. They are absolutely fabulous and they are so perfect for fall. And they look just beautiful with everything, all the other foliage that's um, out and all the other flowers that are out right now. So when I'm designing for my table or when I'm designing for photography, one of the first things that I think about actually is the flower and how it relates to the vessel. And I love to use antique vessels. I have copper oh, yeah. pots, I have old pots, um, tin pots. For this particular arrangement, I chose an antique wooden pot or wooden, um, wooden pail. Mm -hmm. And inside of it is the glass uh, vessel that I'm gonna use. And it's got the coated chicken wire and a frog in there for stability. I like this for two reasons. One is when you're dealing with an antique, um, you don't want to get it wet. Um, mm -hmm. You can change your water quickly. And then also for photography purposes, if I want to change the vessel, um, I can do that without changing the arrangement. So this is the vessel that I thought I would start with today. How's it look? That's so smart. I would have never, ever thought of that, Jamie. I, you know, I guess I just think, wow, that's the way it's in the, I would have always thought the water was in that vessel. So. Um, I just learned something new. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm glad. Well, and particularly because when I'm taking photos, I need a lot of content. And so I have a lot of vessels, but it is, it's just easy for me to just kind of mix and match uh, the vessels, but then keep that beautiful arrangement, change the backgrounds, and it makes things look completely different. Um, but let's start with how I would do an arrangement. So got this on a Lazy Susan. Um, I went outside, of course, the foliage is happening right now. I love to start with the foundation. Now, some people like to start with a feature a flower, but I tend to like to build my structure uh, with some harder stems. Uh, and I'm gonna start with this beautiful red. These are burning bushes that were outside. They were actually mm -hmm. wet outside and um, they were just bright red when I started. Mm -hmm. I also like to add in some softer, but yet um, greenery that is just pretty. This is uh, African blue basil and to add a little bit of a different color. And I'm mm -hmm. just, I'm moving things around um, in sort of in each direction. Yeah. And I'm pushing things into uh, the frog as well as into, I've got a little of this, hold on, this forest is right there. I'm going to put this right in here. And what I'm doing is just starting with the actual foundation of this of the arrangement. And so it looks good. It just kind of looks nice on all sides. Yeah. Just a little I love bit how it's feeling over. 
just so pretty. just a little bit of red. And this is such a beautiful time of year um, mm -hmm. because there's so many layers and textures and colors that we can add to an arrangement. Um, mm -hmm. So I usually will start with the greenery. I'm gonna also add in, I love to add in a few scents. So I'm gonna oh. add in some scented geranium just to kind of oh. add in. Oh, it smells amazing, amazing. Again, just to give it a little bit more structure. I love how the green of the scented geranium really makes the burning bush pop. That looks so good. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? And yeah. I just love that. So I will start with, I, I think that there are four key things. Foundation, fill, focal, and then a little fabulous. Now, <laughs> love that. I love, those are the four that I always try to remember. So this would be my foundation. I want to try to get my foundation right. Then I want to maybe add a little fill. And these would be maybe a, a thicker item or um, like a hydrangea. These hydrangeas are just turning a little bit. Again, to add a little bit love of that purple. color. Yeah, just to kind of fill in down below. And I'll add this down in here. And the chicken wire really helps to keep the structure, um, keep everything nice and stable. And then I'm poking things down to the frog too. And I'm doing things mm, a little bit lower with the hydrangea because my feature flower is going to be these beautiful lilies, absolutely beautiful lilies. So again, and Jamie, this is looking so good. I'm we're now that it's expanding. Can we maybe move the lilies to the side just a little bit so you we can can let me and let me move them because oh, we're going to actually oh, yeah. start to use them. Let me move yes. them over here. So I've started to, a little bit of my table decoration too. But what I want to do is pull some of these gorgeous lilies. Now. Look at how beautiful these are. These are Idaho lilies. Um, and I will tell you, they're just opening up. They're absolutely stunning. They have no smell to them. Sometimes people um, don't care for a lily smell. This has zero smell. Um, so some varieties have smell. Some of them have a scent and some of them do not. Is that what you mean? Some lilies do and some don't. Some lilies do, some lilies don't. Mm. And the other beautiful thing, too, is you've got the beautiful buds. So you've got this wonderful story. You've got the, the open flower, and then these other blooms will actually open over time. Mm -hmm. So it's a long-lasting flower. Mm -hmm. And these are, and I'm doing this backwards, so I'm hoping that this, <laughs> this would be my, so, so good, Jamie. It's looking good on our end, too. Good. This is my feature flower. These are the feature, this is the feature that I want to show are these beautiful lilies. And I'm gonna put them right here. And then I'm gonna put one down low. Yes. It's gonna bring out some more color. Down so low. I think of a lily often as a spring or a summer flower. So this is really knowledgeable. I really would not have thought of a lily for fall. So thank you for this. This is making me look at lilies differently. Well, it definitely makes me look at them differently. And particularly when you've got all of the beautiful orange colors with the pumpkins nice. and the berries and everything. Um, and then the other neat thing about lilies, too, is that they're a long lasting bloom. Mm -hmm. So they really um, will last over time. And particularly if you're set, making an arrangement, it's something that will be on your table for quite some time and then it will open and it's, it will just last and be beautiful. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to add in, um, so I've added my, my feature flower, which are the lilies, but then I'm going to add in some dahlias. I, if you're, if you look at any of my photos, I absolutely love texture. I love layers. Mm -hmm. That's why I've got a lot, I'm gonna to have to turn this around this way. I'm looking at it a different direction. Um, uh, and so even within an arrangement, I like to have different types of flowers, different layers uh, that mm -hmm. really bring out, and just by adding a little bit of a dahlia, uh, it adds that same orange, but then draws your attention again back to the lily. I'm gonna add in some yellow dahlias. Yeah, I'm loving all of the contrast too. How they they all work together, but there's still that pop of contrast. They do, and that's the and gosh, fall is just such a magical time. 
to you. Mm -hmm. and there's, there's so many, so many beautiful. And, and I'm not going to add in, I've got a beautiful dahlia here, but I don't necessarily want to add that dahlia in because it's really going to compete with the lily. So mm -hmm. and you want to think about what your feature flower is going to be and really highlight that. And that's what I like to do in my arrangement on my table as well as my arrangements in my photography. So I'll be focused on this lily when I take a photograph of it. Jamie, I had a question come in. So you said that these are long lasting bulbs, long lasting blooms. How long do you think this arrangement will last? You know, these, these blooms were just cut um, this week. Um, we are ending the, our season here, but I would bet um, with, if you uh, change the water um, every other day, these could last up to a week or two weeks, depending. For sure. Um, the lilies for sure will last a long time. The lilies are probably going to last the longest. Mm -hmm. Some of these other blooms um, are ending their season, but they're still in great shape. So they, they also may uh, last for a few weeks. That's a great question. And particularly when we're getting into the holidays too, you want to think about arrangements that, um, you know, we all get very busy, that you can put an arrangement together and enjoy it. And then, um, together. I think it's going to yes, be these true. are straw flowers that I'm adding in here. That's my little bit of fabulous that I like to add in, just a little bit of texture. <laughs> Jamie, do you have any tips for someone that is thinking about growing lilies or even buying lilies from the grocery store? Like maybe a better stage that they should uh, pick their flowers? Like should they be wide open or is it okay if they're a bit closed? No, that's a great, that's a great question, Kira. I think it's always better to get them when they're closed um, because this is a long lasting bloom and then it allows them to open. Um, again, changing the water, um, but you don't want to buy a lily that is wide open mm -hmm. because that's a lily that um, is maybe past its prime. So you want to look for those that are um, a little bit more closed. <laughs> And will all the blooms open? They should. Um, I cut them and I put them in um, just a cool water, not a hot water, just a nice cool water. And they should open for us. Yes, absolutely. Now I'm adding in just a little bit. This is a little too big. A little bit of status. I'm adding in just a little bit of purple to give us some color. Again, I'm, I'm kind of a big one on a little bit of fabulous in here. I like to add the highlights. I love it. And or add color. And I've got a few berries in here. And oh, I love that you're adding berries to it just for a different texture. I love berries, a little slosia, a little pink in here. And all of these are just working with the palette. And it's a full, well, it seems it bouquet. <laughs> it is a very full bouquet. Um, it's fabulous. <laughs> yeah, that is beautiful. So, you get it so fast too. And I, I'm in zone seven. Do you guys, do lilies grow in every zone? I really don't know. Hmm. I Kara, do you know. They need a certain amount of warmth. So it's always good to look at, uh, um, the bulbs and it'll normally tell you how long it takes from when you plant the bulb until they bloom and okay. basically you just kind of need to make sure it's it's warm enough during that time okay okay perfect perfect yeah, i don't we, we we have some lovely spring lilies that happen mm -hmm. here. um it's a little mm -hmm. bit late for us now but they are a year-round flower awesome. um this as i said this one's um called the idaho uh which is a beautiful orange and yeah, so this is what I would do on my table. Wow, that is gorgeous, Jamie. I had another question come through. So yes. a lot of times we see those white lilies. Uh, those are almost more common, I feel like, in a lot of places, especially uh, your local convenience store. You typically see the white lilies. Someone asked, could you also pull that into a beautiful fall arrangement and what are some of the 
the neighboring flowers you would use with that? You know, that, that's a fantastic question. Um, I would absolutely pull white lilies in. Um, in fact, when I, when I went to order these, I ordered white and um, orange and just the orange showed up. So today we're just using the orange <laughs> because I love, like for instance, I've got the white pumpkins. I love to um, work in other natural elements when I'm designing. And mm -hmm. so I think you could use um, any of these colors I think would be lovely and just adding in a pop of white. I also really think that white lilies with red at the holidays, you could mm -hmm. even get some red carnations. Um, you could uh, find, um, uh, oh gosh, roses, um, mixing mm -hmm. roses in with them, I think would be absolutely beautiful. And even lilies and maybe even some greenery at the holidays, I think would just make us white lilies and, um, and greenery, I think would be stunning. Oh, great. I have a question for Anna. Uh, as a florist, how often do you use lilies in your fall arrangements? And after today, is this maybe something you would do more of? Yes, I've always loved them because of their colors. There's also like a burgundy color and mm -hmm. there are some really deep colors that I think contrast so beautiful with fall. I mean, fall mm -hmm. is my favorite season. Just like Jamie was saying, so many contrast and textures and all that. I just love it. But yes, definitely lilies are a great flower because of their size. They mm -hmm. fill a lot of space in your arrangements and they last so much. Mm. Wow. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. They do. And, and they're, I think not only because they're long lasting, they're perfect for decorating. As I said, this just fits in with the whole decor and adds that pop of orange that I think is just beautiful. And then it accents with all the other orange and white and the, I would typically decorate with a little bit of uh, copper or metals, um, some faux things as well. And then it just kind of all works together. Beautiful. Your table looks incredible. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And now I'll have fun taking photos of this too. And as I said, I usually will focus on mm -hmm. uh, one particular flower that I think is my focal flower. And in this particular case, it's the lilies and they're just stunning. They're absolutely beautiful. And I think they look just so lovely with this whole arrangement. Jamie, I'm really curious about how you're gonna set up for your photography for this. So mm. will, you, will you use a dark backdrop? Will you do a light or will you do both? Where do you think, what direction do you think you're gonna go with this? You know, that's a, that's a really great question. Um, one of the things that I would tell you is because this is a really busy bouquet, and it's busy, it's got a lot of color and variety. I am definitely going to pick something that's a little bit um, more subtle, so probably a black. Um, or I may do, I have some just beautiful, a beautiful barn wood door that's very um, natural looking. Oh, and there goes the puppy. I knew that this <laughs> Okay. We, we have to have a pup, we have to have an interruption. Um, she must like that idea too. So yeah. I, I would, excuse me. There we go. Yeah. I knew she would do that. The squirrel outside, it always happens. Yeah, I know, I know. So I would tend to definitely do um, a softer background. Okay. I wouldn't do something quite as chippy because there's a lot going on here. And then I would have a few simple pieces that would accentuate um, or, or accessorize and I'd layer that up that way. But um, I think that. it's pretty simple. Yeah, the black idea, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Well, Jamie, thanks for showing us this today. I feel like you've really helped us to rain in the fall this season. Well, I think it's so fun. I think the thing to think about is when you go to the grocery store or when you're ordering flowers to definitely think outside of the season because there are so many things that are available to us uh, now year round. And lilies are definitely one of those items that, one of those flowers that are available and look beautiful in any season. And so I, I think you can, dec you can arrange with them, you can decorate with them, and they really just add that beautiful, happy pop of color. I'm inspired. 
Thank you. I love it. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you for having me. This has been such a treat. <laughs> yes. Just beautiful arrangement. Uh, so mm. we have a fun quiz that we want to share with you. Wait, Later. quiz? I'm not up for a quiz. I know, right? Quiz, <laughs> <laughs> a quiz. <laughs> okay, let's put it up on the screen. Let's see if you guys can guess okay. the answer to this. Uh, which of these is not a variety of lilies? Ooh. Oriental lilies, <laughs> the OT hybrids, the LA hybrids, the Asiatic lilies, or morning lilies? What do you guys think? Hmm. Um, are we supposed to guess or we want everybody else to guess? <laughs> Both. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to say... Oh, I'm going to go with the LA hybrids. I'm going to guess that is not a variety. I'd okay. say the OT hybrids. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know what that is. <laughs> well, Neither do uh, I. <laughs> let's reveal the answer to this quiz. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Boy, that should be a thing. I feel like that should actually be a thing. Let's, let's, a new variety. <laughs> but that feels like it's supposed to be a variety of lilies. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> I love that. Well, thank you for the for the quiz. Everybody, thank you so much for being here. Just a quick reminder, you can catch us every single Friday on Flowers and Friends Talk Show at 10 o'clock Pacific or 12 o'clock Central. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Jamie. This has been so wonderful. And please, everyone, if you get to create uh, a, a fall centerpiece, send us the pictures, tag us. We would love to see what you're doing. Yes. Uh, absolutely. Thank you so much. All right. Guys, why is everything better with Flowers and Friends? <laughs> because it just is. It's so fun. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. Thank you all. Thank you so much for having me. This has been a blast. And happy oh, fall, everyone. Totally inspired. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. We have built the world's first flower-focused streaming network, bringing the public educational and entertaining shows that highlight the magic of flowers. Learn how to heal through flowers, cook with flowers, design your living space to reflect nature, make crafts using florals, sustainably garden, and so much more. We are your network for all things floral. Join us at Bloom TV as we help bring beauty to the lives of people and the planet through nature's most beautiful creation, the flower. <laughs>